Welcome Internet, Shiro here with our review of the DX Meteor Galaxy. Um, let's take a quick look at the box. Meteor Galaxy up there on top. Um, Meteor Galaxy System All Green, OK Mars, OK Saturn, OK Jupiter, and I got those last two mixed up. My bad for speed reading. Anyway, there are the pictures of the attacks. Um, on the front here we have the Kamen Rider Meteor and the Galaxy. Um, meteor with finger extended, because that's the one he uses to activate the Galaxy. And uh, on the side, meteor, meteor galaxy, system all green, yada yada yada. Meteor gal or meteor with meteor galaxy and the meteor belt on him. Uh, sorry, meteor driver. And the thing that beams down transformation. And uh, on the bottom, meteor galaxy. Comes with meteor galaxy. That's it. Um, requires two AAA batteries. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, basically press the little sensor, it makes a sound. Um, the switches each do their own sounds and then you have to press the button to activate them. And then uh, put in the meteor switch for a limit break, but we'll get to that in a second. And standard no choking hazard, you know, reverse two times. Uh, it, it's AAA. And uh, the packaging pretty much just holds directions which you, you shall ignore. And uh, the actual Meteor Galaxy itself, which is right here. Um, this is it. It looks probably not... I'll show you exactly how kind of bulky this thing is. Um, bulky in a good way. Now then, first off, important thing of note. That is where the batteries go. Um, I would bother opening that up, but that kind of is going to take a while. But, suffice it to say, I have batteries in here, and this thing does not want to stay still. Because every little bit I plug is a little farther. Anyway, this thing will fit on my wrist. Um, I have to put it down just so that way I have a stable location. But still, this thing will fit. With actually some sliding room. And we'll actually have it on like this for demonstration purposes. But, anyway, here's the button for the sound. So there's the speaker, I believe. This button right here serves to cancel those out. However, if you do that, you'll get them to cancel each other out anyway. Um, you can't have... Well, you, you can press up all three if you want to. But, uh, overall, this thing doesn't like that. Um, the activation switch is right here, which we shall actually get to in a second. And in here, um, we'll demonstrate that point in a minute. But suffice to say, you can use more than the meteor switch in here. And that's it for the sound it makes for just the button itself. Now then. Mars, ready. And I'll just loop. Okay. Mars. Actually, let me put this on. That's supposed to be. That way you can have it at a slight angle. Um... And as you can see, it'll sense that it's still on, even though it doesn't do the music, so you can keep pressing it. Now then, let's go to Jupiter. Jupiter, ready! Slightly different sound than Mars. Okay, Jupiter! And there we go. Um, now then... Once again, different sound. Okay, and there we go. Um, that's it for the sounds that are not limit break related. 
Um, we shall put the Meteor Switch in with nothing on. Also, actually, before we do that, See? Does not like it. I'll actually say error. Limit break. Limit break. No, keep looping. Limit break. Okay. It's actually funny that makes me think now of setting the uh, limit break loop to uh uses a uh... wow I'm blanking out right now um, to use for ringtone for a phone um, anyway this thing does not register if the switch is on or off in fact this thing does not register if it's even the meteor switch this is parachute However, though, okay. and I'll just do that. Um, fairly certain. Fairly certain there's no change in sound whatsoever. Um, so it's just limit break as opposed to, okay, Mars limit break. Um, otherwise, you know, said something. Um, overall, though, as you can kind of see, this thing is bulky. Um, but again, bulky in a good way. Makes it feel like it's legit, I should say. Um, makes it feel more show accurate, we'll say. Now then, let's actually take this off. And uh, let's take a quick peek at that little switch register. Um, as you can see, it is square. But here's the thing. That part right there is just locking in the switch um, on one. Top and bottom there, it'll have a little catcher for the switch to keep it in place. And then as you can see right here, That's the uh, switch in, and this actually does not stop any switch from being in there specifically, so you don't have to just use right arm switches. Um, do I have any others near me? Um, let's put in... Beat. And for anyone wondering, um, this is the Alexa switch. No difference. No difference in switch. Still though, goodbye. Um, really, really goodbye. I would recommend picking it up for any fan of Meteor simply because it is awesome and it It's the kind of thing where even if you didn't have the Meteor Belt, it's worth it on its own, probably. Um, don't know how to quite put that in words. Now, ultimately speaking, this is still a good, uh, goodbye, so, goodbye.